This adventure comprises of drive through castles. I guess having you around get us out of our comfort zone and out doing new adventures. Get to the chopper. <laughs> that tide is coming up and we got out just in time. And if you miss it, you're gonna miss out. Yo, I seriously live for this, so. Stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't done that already. This is what life is about. This is what living is about. We only get one life. This is what we're guessing. Gotta live it to the fullest. Boo. What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome once again. <laughs> so this morning, I'm with my homeboy, Kendall. We got Nikki. Yeah, man, she's got that chopper. <laughs> We're on a beat. Everyone's got a bag. She's got the briefcase. I've got a huge shopping bag. And we're about to go on an adventure. Stay tuned. What would you be doing today if I wasn't here? Well, okay, if it if wasn't for this adventure, what well, would be sleeping? or just watching TV. Alright, so this is what I'm saying, man. All I want to do is inspire others to aspire, to go out, see their surroundings, and just, you know, enjoy life outside, whether it's cold, hot, wet, dry, snow, sleet, ice, sand, just go out. Welcome to the beach, man. Look at how low the tide is. So this is our stop for the morning. This is where we're going to be chilling for a little bit. I uh, can see the sun peeping. We've got Kendall and Nikki. They're going over to get some tea. And I'm just documenting this for me. Documenting this for you. Documenting this for everybody. Yo, these rocks indicate that it gets extremely rough. So this would be to stop some of that water coming over. But look at how low the tide is right now. Uh, seagulls flying over my head. <laughs> so on the way here, we actually drove through two castles. Uh, you may have seen that on the time lapse, but I'm gonna beg Kendall so that I can take a stop because I've never driven through castles before and I want to really get a closer look. So hopefully we can get that on camera for you, for me, for everybody. But right now, I'm gonna take the drone up. So let's do that. Boo. I wasn't the only one who noticed there was a tent on the beach. So first of all, the tide is low, but it's coming in quick. Game plan, we're probably gonna find a spot where we chillax. <laughs> we're gonna keep an eye on the tide. If it comes up towards us, then we have to uh, head out. We got seaweed. So the water comes all the way here. This is why we have these large old boulders so that the water doesn't go over the wall or to slow it down or stop it but yo where i'm walking right now is extremely slippery because of the moss the tide comes all the way up here and you it's evident from the moss the seaweed the boulders and you can see man it's it's moving reminds me of my uh, my solo camp don't camp in the tidal zone there is someone camping right here in the tidal zone so clearly they didn't see my video so like i say and like i've been saying go out see your surroundings just enjoy 
everything about life. Whoa, look at that beautiful Labrador, man. This is why I always say, if we only got one life, you got to enjoy it to the fullest. Go out, see your surroundings, just enjoy nature. Enjoy to the fullest. Look at that beautiful lab. Hello, beautiful. Hi. Came to say hello. <laughs> Reminds me of my old girl, man. I miss that dog. Let's head up. Let's join Kendall and Nikki. We keep an eye on the tide. Make sure we don't get bashed. I'm going to start uh, cooking up some chow. See you in a bit, yo. We have a slight change of plans because the tide has come up a lot quicker than expected. Got the camera right here doing a time lapse. Hopefully we don't get a repeat of um, the don't camp in the tidal zone. No, you're good. You're good. As you can see those waves are coming in. That tide is pushing up almost at the rocks now. We've abandoned the idea of cooking right here on the beach for now. So we're just paying attention. If it doesn't come up any further, then we can always cook up on the rocks. Or uh, Kendall was suggesting we head to another beach, so. It's all good, man. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Swells are coming in. Got Kendall right here. We're gonna go old school, so we'll be going up the rocks. You know, just for the heck of it. <laughs> all right, bro, you ready? Good. Let's go back to the boy days. <laughs> wow. We made it, Kendall. Yeah. Just in time, boy. What do you want to do? You want to stay here, prepare, or, or you want to go somewhere different? All right, so Kendall is going to take us somewhere different so we can um, set up and hopefully get this right it's a good thing we didn't start because where we are standing right now is currently underwater insane oh back into the vehicle on to the next spot how was that experience um a bit cold not okay. too bad but a bit cold i would honestly say amazing because of the fact that i've never seen the tide come up so quickly and like you said, Loam, if we weren't outside experiencing it, then we would never know, right? And That's I would have right. never seen something like that. That's right. So in a, in a lot of ways, it was really nice. It was a nice experience. Yeah. Thank you, Loam. <laughs> <laughs> Remember earlier I told you we went through two drive through castles and I've never been through a drive through castle. This is one right here. Not only am I going to drive through, I'm going to walk through. How cool is that? Back to the vehicle. Let's continue on this journey. Hey, Dickie, what are we looking at right now? We are now looking at one of uh, the three surviving medieval gates built in 1300, shortly after the building of the New World Wind Chelsea. That's something new. I didn't know that. So was the one that the I was, the one that I was just talking about, was, it, was that a second one? It might have been the second one, yeah. So you see, so it's a gate and not a castle, like Kendall said. I mean, well, I don't know. I'm just saying it says a strand gate. What I'm getting from reading this, it was used as a gate because there was a commercial and military shipping thing probably going on down there. So they used to use this to provide troop transport to the king's soldiers. So I'm no expert, but I'm guessing that this is where the guard would sit 
or stand and be like, oh, there's a vehicle approaching. And it would come on the outside here, open up the gate and let the vehicles through. The guards would stay here and they would work the gates. Oh, and you got a sign that shows you where you the assigned. castle, the you harbor, the lookout, village. It was built in 1867 as a viewing platform for visitors. Okay. Just made it to beach number two. We got Kendall walking on the beach. Nikki, just a, a, a little note just for the two of us. He's walking, he doesn't have a hat on his head. That's what did he right. say? We just, uh, we're not staying, we just stop in here for a little bit. All right, so if he starts kuhum kuhum and sneezing later on, we know why. Yes, sir. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so Kendall is uh, near the water, skipping rocks, and we're just figuring out if this is going to be a spot for us to prepare a meal, but honestly, I don't think so. So once Kendall is done, we're going to bounce, because, yeah, I'm not feeling it. It's a lovely stretch of beach be wonderful to walk that breeze is coming over that hill it's extremely cold i think we'll just prepare our meal indoors once this man is done skipping rocks <laughs> all right so we're heading back to the vehicle we're not gonna stay here man it is too cold but it's beautiful landscape though Woo! yeah it is freaking cold right now the breeze coming at my back we're gonna switch the plan around. So we're gonna head to our market, pick up some more stuff that we're gonna prepare for what was supposed to be breakfast. And we'll just prepare stuff at home. <laughs> it's all Kendall's fault. <laughs> all right, man, time lapse is still going. Let's hit the road and uh, I'll see you when I see you. Where uh, boy is there, cold boy? Right here. <laughs> so we are successfully back in the the the, 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 the town center, village center. Is this a town or a village? It's a town. Alright, we're back in the town center. It is what time, Kendall? It is now. <laughs> I will let you know. Let me know, please. It is one o'clock. It's one o'clock. What time did we leave? But anyway, it was a fun day, man. Honestly, I'm giving you, you know, a tough time because that's what I do best. But it was a fun day. We're gonna head to a store, pick up some groceries, doo -doo -doo, and come back, pick up the stuff we got in the car, and prepare a meal from there. So, yeah. All right. So we're headed to the store. I suspect it's gonna be even more adventure, right, Kendall? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're feeling so right for him. Yeah, 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 Man, listen, I am uh, craving some food right now. So I'm going to end this video for now and I'm going to say thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for joining us. I really hope you enjoyed. We really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below. Of course, feel free to share this video. Share this link with any and everyone who can benefit. Because all I'm looking to do is inspire others to aspire. Like I did with Nikki and Kendall. <laughs> Bought them out the house. We had a blast. Of course, uh, for any clips that didn't make this video, you can definitely find it on my Instagram page as B-I-G-G-L-U-M, just like it says down below. Now, you're more than welcome to subscribe. It's all good if you do, it's all good if you don't. But if you don't, you'll be missing out on whatever I get up to next. And half of the time, I don't even know what I'm going to get up to next. And you saw that perfect example today. Folks, you know what it is. As always, get control of your body. Take time for your mind. Love yourself first. 
take a look at others. Until the next time. Pop pop. Peace. Sixty percent of the people would agree with you. What? Huh? What they would agree with? Yeah, yeah. We we chasing. We chasing nothing. We chasing nothing. Power? Well, you we are chasing out a bitch where the way it is. Big love. Yes, Kendall. On my next day off. Uh huh. If that shit will make you feel better, uh -huh. we'll go and find the couple sales. That's my little promise to you. If that'll make you feel better. You need to hold him on that promise, love.